What is going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a 720p or a 1080p composition in After Effects. Now I know I said I'll start this after the new year, however I decided to start it early for you. With that being said, if you'd like to request a tutorial on After Effects then let me know in the comments below. Also if you want to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas, Photoshop or even Cinema 4D then let me know in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Now first of all when you first open up After Effects this is what it will look like, you'll need to create a composition. There's actually three ways you can do this. First of all you can press Ctrl N, brings that up. You can also come to composition itself and press new composition and the final way is coming here to your project and pressing this button right here create a new composition. Now first things first you just name your composition so let's say for example this is a CSTN video I'm just going to put hashtag CSTN and now we have a bunch of presets so this is the part you'll need to listen if you want 1080p or if you want 720p. So Presets, they're already set up, you don't need to worry about adjusting this yourself. Come to preset and it's very simple from here. So if you want 720p, you probably guessed it, you come to this one right here. HDV, HDTV, 720, 29.97 frames per second. Basically 720p, 30fps. If you want 1080p, you come down here. HDTV 1080, 29.97. Now it's completely up to you, you can have 30 frames per second, 25 frames per second or 24 frames per second. That will still render in 1080p. The same goes for 720p. You can have 25 frames per second or 30 frames per second. It will still render in 720p. So select which one you want. Personally I always have 720p 30fps so I'd select that one right there. And if you did select 720p then this is what you should come to 1280 by 720. If you selected 1080 then this will come to 1920 by 1080. Now if you come down you'll see we can change the pixel aspect ratio. So you can see we can have it on square pixels or any of the others. Personally I'd stay with square pixels. It's a safer option so just stay with square pixels. Now if you come down here you'll see frame rate. Now frame rate again is completely up to you. You can come here and type it in yourself. So let's say you want 12, 12 will come up. However if you press this down arrow you can see you get these options right here. So you can even go all the way up to 60 FPS or you can just type in one that you like. Personally, I'd say 29.97 as it is part of this preset. And then here, drop frame or non-drop frame. Personally, I'd keep drop frame checked. Now the next thing is going to be different for people depending on your PC. So as you'll see, it says resolution here. Now do not be worried about this. You can have it on the lowest quality, it doesn't mean you're going to render out in the lowest quality, it'll still be in 720p or 1080p and in full resolution. This is what you're just working with. This means the preview. For those that watch my Sony Vegas videos, it's like when you have half, best, quarter and full. This is the exact same thing right here, so don't be worried about what you pick. Now the way you work it out, if you have a good high-end PC, I'd say sticking with full. If you have a okay PC I'll say stay with half and then if your PC isn't that good and you know it stay with third or even quarter. Now the next thing is the start time code it's always gonna be zero because this is where your project is gonna start. Why would you start it at like five seconds, five minutes or anything like that just keep it at zero. The duration doesn't really matter because once you drop in a video file it will just adjust to that certain file. Now here it says background color again you can change it whatever you want to just click this and here we go. So let's just say one red background. Go OK. And then you're officially ready. However, there is another tab known as Advanced. This part you really, really don't need to touch unless you know what you're doing and if you really need to do it. You can see it's just talking about motion blur and all this stuff right here. You don't really need to mess with it. So with that being said, you're actually done. So everything you've just done is set up. You're ready to start. Press OK. This right here is a 720-30fps composition I've created right here. For those that have done a 1080 composition, then you've just done a 1080 composition in 30fps. However, if you picked a higher fps or a lower fps, it's completely up to you. You're still going to get a good quality in the end. Now you'll see, I'll simply just go ahead and drag on a file. Now this is Black Ops 3 gameplay, so I'm just going to go ahead, drag, 
drop into the projects here. And there you go, you can see it's in place. Now you remember when we picked the resolution? Well, this is it right here, so you can also adjust it from here. So we can go to half, half is probably good. And then we can just RAM preview it by pressing this. And you can see, it's playing right now. It's currently messing up a bit because my RAM's not the best and I'm recording at the same time, so a lot of RAM is being used up right now. Now let's say you're not happy with the composition, you can change it anytime you want to. So I've selected a 720p, however what if I want 1080? Well, this is what you do, you can press Ctrl K or you can come to Composition and then press Composition Settings. So directly in the same projects you can change it from here. So let's say I want 1080, it's right here, 1080, 30fps, press OK. And you can see the video is now not in place, it's still got the 1280 by 720 Simply just right click the video, then come to transform, and then you'll need to click fit to comp. And there we go, it's now fitted into 1080p. And that is it for this video, hopefully I've explained everything well, hopefully you've been able to follow. After Effects is new to me just like you guys as well, so I'm learning at the same time and hopefully I've still done a good job at explaining how to do this. Like I said, I will be doing more After Effects, Photoshop, Cinema 4D and Sony Vegas tutorials in the future. If you'd like to request one, then let me know in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to go follow me on Twitter, I'll keep you updated with what I'm be posting and what I'll be posting. Also be sure to go and check out my technology news channel, I'll keep you updated on the best technology news. And finally be sure to go and add me on Snapchat or sure I do throughout my day. So this has been Casual Savage here, thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate and peace.